and then uh, about the 1500s this buzzing bridge was added. Now the thing about the buzzing bridge, when you turn the crank in a regular manner and you give it a jog. Oh, is that how they get that Yeah, sound? Yeah, and you get a jog, the wheel speeds up momentarily when you jog it. And then this uh, bridge, which is just, on this one, is, there's not very much motion, but, uh, and when you actually jog it when you're playing, it's, it's infinitesimal. You can't, you What do you barely, mean, jog it? Well, you just, uh, the proper name in French is called coup de poignet, mm -hmm. a blow of the thumb at, at 12 o'clock, and then a six, and then uh, three, and nine. And so you get different rhythms depending, like if you want to uh, uh, six, eight, or three, you know, threes, you come down to 12, four, and eight. In the French tradition, um, you're supposed to be able to accentuate all the uh, rhythms that the melody has inherent in it. And uh, on the Hungarian one, you use it a lot to accentuate what what is called the Scottish snap, which is the uh, 16th followed by a dotted eighth, as in, in a buddy, meet a buddy, coming through the rye, etc. So the body part is, is that Scotch snap. Well, they also have it in Hungary. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do with 4-4 four, four when you, when you want to vary it? You're going to put in Scotch snaps. So there's nothing inherently Scottish about a Scotch snap. Mm -hmm. 